What the fuck's up, Geek Wads? Mega Metal Man X back with more Undertale. Finally. I know it's been a wh quite a while since I've done a Let's Play of this. I've been too busy with other shit. Which has been fucking frustrating, by the way. All I want to do is play something like this to freaking calm my nerves. What do you have to say, dipshit? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's, wanna come? Oh yeah, I think I already... I said I'm busy. Okay, have fun. I will. Okay, I'm in a new area. What's in the box? Nothing. Just all the shit I stored in there before. Great. This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in a box. Sincerely, a box hater. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Really needed that. <clears throat> I'm guessing I have to not get hit by these rocks. I hate you can't frickin' run. Like, that'd be great. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Yeah, that was probably the rocks that you saw falling down in your head. Whoa! Holy shit. What was the point of that? Ah. Whoa! What am I, Jesus now? And walking on water! Whoa. Where's my face? Oh. It's overshadowed by that grass. What the hell? Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Hey, look, it's the child rapist. Again. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Ha, <laughs> Lincoln Park reference. I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? Who's that knight guy? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Whoa! Oh shit. I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely fucked. Okay, I'm officially freaked out now. What the hell? That thing followed me. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That's a she? What? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Freaking fell over. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Oh, that's nice to know. Does that even make sense? Not to me, it doesn't. What the hell? She looks like a bad guy. I didn't even know she was a she. Doesn't look intimidating to me. Then again, you don't know who's behind a knight costume until they take it off. What are these? I got a flower on my head. Was that a lily pad or something? 
I gotta make a bridge. I gotta make a bridge out of lily pads. Yay! They opened! And there's another... What? There's a hole in the wall. Or a crack. Thought there might be a mouse in there, like there's been... And now every other crack I've passed so far. Oh! Yep, obviously there are creatures in here. Wild Zubat appeared. No, I'm kidding. Aaron flexes in. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely a freaking macho name. What, should I flex too? Even though I don't have any muscles? You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Ah! Aaron is ready for your next flex. Well, fuck you. I hate overinflated egotistic guys like you. So I'm gonna punch your lights out. Phew, I'm sweating. Ew, that's nasty. Aaron's muscles droop comically. <laughs> oh, I can spare the guy now. But, oh wait, I don't fucking want to. Because I don't have to. I learned that if you decide to grind, that you will eventually kill all the creatures in the area, and that is on your way to the genocide path. Now I gotta make another lily pad bridge. I think I did it wrong. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Okay, cool. I guess I'm supposed to make them cross there? I don't know. Looks that way. Uh, what? What the hell? What are these? They're light rocks. Can I read that sign? Okay, I don't get this at all. I can't freaking read the sign. Come on! Open up! So I can read the freaking sign! opened up for me before. Now, what is this? Holy shit, the music's ominous. Does that have something to do with these? I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Stay tuned, everybody, for like an hour and a half until I figure this shit out. <laughs> I don't know. Where are the creatures now? I haven't... 
I haven't met any in like 50 steps at least. Maybe it has some way to do with their how how they're positioned. Maybe I put one here. Put one here. Here. And here. No? Oh well, it's a thought. Well, come on, give me a clue, at least, to what it is. I can't even get over there to read that sign. Please, for the love of God, let me walk on these when I'm finished. Thank you. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. Seriously? I'm gonna freaking murder whoever made that sign. Seriously. So there's no clues. I gotta friggin... I gotta friggin do this on my own. That's nice. Yeah, they did for this one, but... For this one, no. They don't. Oh, four! Oh! Doi! Okay, I should have realized that by now. Then maybe I gotta do it diagonally? I don't know. I don't know how I would do that. Obviously not like that. Forgot about the bell. How do I align them diagonally? I thought that was the case here. Damn it.
I don't know. There should be a clue as to how I should align them. Getting the bell. I don't know. No, that's not going to work. That's not even aligning. You know what, I'm just gonna edit this part out. Cause this is is wasting wasting time. minutes later Are you fucking serious? That's all I had to do the whole goddamn time?! What?! I feel like the stupidest motherfucker alive! Holy fuck! Jesus Christ! What do you want? Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Okay, this guy's being more of a creep now. I don't know. No? So you aren't wearing a bandana. Got it! You're my friend, so I trust you. 100%. Have a nice day. Asshole. I freaking hate this part of RPGs! The fucking puzzles! God damn it! Wishing room. I wish for no more puzzles, you fucking prick! Oh, these fucking bitches again. No, I'm not imitating jello molds, and I'm not flirting with a freaking jello mold. If I can spare them, I can spare them. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Come on, sis, make a wish. 
Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Will he now? A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, those are stones? You say. Oh gee, I thought they were stars. No, they're fucking stones. This is a cave. With an uninteractive microscope. I mean, telescope. God. This one doesn't even talk. Oh, what the hell? I'm such a freaking idiot. I'm hitting the freaking shift button instead of the Z key. Yeah, I see a bunch of rocks that look like eyeballs. Check wall. God, is this another puzzle? I don't fucking know. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Yes, thank you. Don't have to do anything with that telescope. Looks like an underground swamp to me. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Really? I always thought monsters would be stronger. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. I'm guessing that's sort of how the final boss fight of this game will play out. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Let me see it. Is it Gygus? That would make sense since it's like a freaking Earthbound game. Okay, now I'm heading off to God knows where. And I can't go back. Wonderful. Whoa! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! No! Get away from me! Are you the final boss or something? Ah! No! Holy fuck! Get out of here! Is it over? Oh god! Get away! Oh jeez. We're gonna have a fucking heart attack. Can I move now? Is she he gone whatever? I better eat a freaking cinnamon bun. That asshole slash bitch slash cunt took away half my health. I 
thought you were dead. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Dude, what's wrong with you? She tried to kill me! For fuck's sake! That was some of the scariest shit I've ever seen! What is this? Crystallized cheese? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> Fucking called it. And there's a mouse in this hole, yeah. I was wondering when I was going to come across that. The one I came across earlier, I thought would have a mouse in it. Squeak. All oh, right, because you're an echo flower. You repeat the last thing you heard, which is squeak. Jeez. This is intense. This is getting intense. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal, or mystical crystal, whatever, it fills you with determination. Alright, I'm wondering if I should leave it, and then come back, I'm not sure, oh there's dumbass again. Whatever happened to treasure chests? Seriously. That's half the point of RPG games. You find a treasure chest, you pick up what's inside it. Obviously, this is no ordinary RPG. Yeah, 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 yeah. Determination and all that crap. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I think I'm going to stop here. Before I have a freaking aneurysm, for God's sake. Sorry. I am just stressed the fuck out. School and shit. Like, seriously, you don't want to know. But anyways, I'll be back. And perhaps a little more mellow next time on another episode of Undertale. Let's play. Till then, I'm Mega Metal Man X, wearing my hat again, as you can see. And I'm signing off for the night, so peace out!